are going live in 3, 2, 1. For those just joining us, we are fortunate to have an audience today with our glorious leader. Excellency, last week we experienced the conclusion of the trial of the tyrant King Solomon with his execution scheduled for next Friday. With the Great Revolution finally concluded, what will the future political structure of the People's Republic of Bisenji finally look like? Well, Zara, King Salman was a corrupt and sadistic man. Under his rule, our people served while he sold away our most sacred objects to pay for his own luxuries. Hundreds of thousands of souls died under his tyranny, yet he was tolerated by the American imperialists. His death will give us closure, but our work is only just beginning. The people's revolution is never really over. We must rebuild this country from the ashes, reform it. The Revolutionary Council has put me in charge of the transitional government for the next five years to maintain order while a new constitution is drafted. One that meets the needs of all the people. Many were expecting your brother Farouk would be named by the Revolutionary Council as the interim leader of Besenji. What role will he have in the transitional government? Farouk is popular to be certain and was a fellow patriot of the revolution. He will be given an appropriate role in my cabinet. It is often said that the Americans are suspicious about transitional government and that you face a great deal of pressure from domestic interests seeking reforms. Our first priority is of course reconstruction. The American imperialists are of no concern at this time. Governance is not an easy task, but I assure the people that we will build a stronger Basenji together. Thank you again for your time, Excellency. It is a pleasure, Zara. Excellency, my name is Tariq Badur. As Parliamentary Chief of Protocol, it is my duty to ensure that your instructions reach our parliamentarians. I trust you have settled into your new office? May I offer some suggestions on our first steps to restoring order to Bajinji? Yes, please begin. Excellent. To start, there are two units of currency to be concerned with. One is our treasury funds. And the other is the loyalty of our parliament. We will need to rebuild basic infrastructure to begin. Click on the state infrastructure button. Now click on the Policies button.
Secondly, treasury button. Most actions in the game cost time points. There are four time points in Ether. The number of time points available can be seen on the clock in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. When all four time points are consumed, the turn ends and an event occurs. Events are rarely good news. Most actions, including building infrastructure, changing policies, calling neighbors, and moving military units, will cost time points. When our industries are restored in the state infrastructure menu, Bajinji will receive two resources. Those resources will appear here, in the resource menu. I suggest exporting goods that other countries will pay well for, and importing goods necessary to create manufacturing bonuses. Manufacturing bonuses are rewards conferred for having certain combinations of goods in your country, either produced domestically or imported from neighbors. Click on the resource menu that was just highlighted to see all the possible manufacturing bonuses. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The people love Farouk, so you need to keep him in your regime. But we should keep a close eye on the loyalty of your parliamentarians. When faction approval drops, when your cabinet members get displeased, or when we start to lose wars or run out of funds, that's when our parliamentarians' loyalties shift. Their loyalty is represented with loyalty points, that other currency. If you start seeing loyalty points drop, then something is seriously wrong with Bajinji. If loyalty falls too low, Farouk may attempt to push us out of power. For now, let's take a closer look at the parliament window. I'll leave you to it now, Excellency. This is not everything there is to see and do, but with luck you will figure out the rest yourself. You can always hit the buzzer if you are in need of a more fulsome report of the health of our beloved country. For now, I suggest advancing to the next turn sooner by clicking on the clock. I have every confidence in your leadership, Excellency. Excellency, I am President Aro Navos, and on behalf of Kashara, I wanted to be the first to welcome the liberation of the People's Republic of Bazanji from the tyranny of the Salman family. The Salman regime was a threat to the whole region. That is why we provided your rebellion with the weaponry and training necessary to overthrow the tyrants. Once the transitional government has restored Bazanji's infrastructure and industry, let us work towards restoring our trade relationship. Do not hesitate to contact me if there's any way Kashara can be of assistance to you. Thank you for your call. I am certain our two great nations will work together to bring great prosperity to the region. There is much work to be done, but I am grateful for your country's support. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. 